Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be covering Gohan, the same boy who gave us a fight of the century against Cell. Yes, his character may have weakened over time, but since Dragon Ball Super, he has been getting some spotlight. So we decided to do the same by giving Gohan some attention. Oh and guys, remember to show some love by hitting that like button and notification bell, it would mean a lot to us and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. With that, let's get started. Gohan's name, like pretty much every other character in the series, is a pun or reference to a type of food. In Gohan's case, his name is the Japanese word for cooked rice, which also refers to meals in general. His name was given to him as a homage to Goku's earthly guardian, Grandpa Gohan. Well, you guys probably knew that, but did you guys know that in Mandarin, the reading of Gohan's name is pronounced Wufan, meaning lunch. As a result, in a similar way to his father's name, Gohan's name in Mandarin is read as Sun Wufan, which is very comparable to Sun Wukong, the inspiration for Goku. And in the fun animation dub, Gohan was originally intended to be named either Einstein or Archimedes by Chi Chi, and the Ox King's name suggestions included Ox King Jr, Ox Monkey, Big Ox, Oxford, Ox in the Box, Ox Man, and Johnny Oxseed. Lucky they went with Gohan. In the Arabic dub, Gohan is not called Gohan. He is dubbed as Johan with a J. If you guys watched Monster, this might give you a whole new perspective to Gohan's character. Gohan's illustration and design had many variations, where most of his design were actually materialized. Gohan is one of the few characters in the series who went through the most design and costume changes. In the series, from his initial introduction to Dragon Ball Super, Gohan had at least 39 different costumes and design changes, not too far from Bulma. Gohan is also one of the only Saiyans in the series to have gone through the most hairstyle which is probably due to the fact that the full-blooded Saiyan's hair stays the same from birth unless you're Nappa and the other half-blooded Saiyans didn't have much screen time as Gohan did. For the Buu saga, Toriyama had a couple of different design concepts for Gohan's illustration. Originally, Gohan was drawn to have been wearing glasses. In other illustrations, Gohan is seen with Future Trunks' jacket, which in my opinion looks badass. In another one, Gohan has a necklace, and another one, he has a baseball cap and a backpack. I like these different designs, but I'm happy with how he looks like in the end. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, which design do you like the most? While at the age of 7 and 8, Goten and Trunks were the youngest known Super Saiyans who had reached the furthest heights for their age than anyone else in the series. However, Gohan still holds a high place of achievement for being the youngest warrior to face great adversary. At the start of the Z series, Gohan was only 4 years of age when he was kidnapped and subsequently wounded his fully grown Saiyan uncle Raditz. Gohan was trained by Piccolo for a year until Vegeta and Nappa's arrival. At the age of 5, Gohan participated in the fight against the Saiyans and later at this age, he travels all the way to Namek fighting the Ginyu Force and then even fighting Frieza. A few years later, at the age of 10, Gohan achieves the Super Saiyan transformation and later then Super Saiyan 2 transformation, ultimately defeating Perfect Cell. Now, even though you guys can add a year as he was in the hyperbolic time chamber, Gohan at such a young age actually killed one of the strongest antagonists in the series. During the Buu saga, when he fights in his ultimate form, Gohan is 17 years of age. In the terms of power level, Gohan had the power level of 710 and then further to 1307 when he fought Raditz. His base power level is 1083 during the Saiyan's arrivals and it rises up to 2800 when using his Masenko on Nappa. Gohan's power level is 6000 during the events of the movie World's Strongest according to the Trio Might pamphlets. When Gohan has his potential unlocked by the Grand Elder Guru, Gohan's power level rises to 14000. After the battle against the Ginyu Force, his power level is approximately 200,000. However, power levels become redundant and Gohan Gohan's true power level is said to be bottomless as stated in Dai Zenshu 2. It is also stated that Gohan's potential growth is greater than Goku's due to being the son of a saint and an earthling, further mentioning that after his potential was released by the Okai, Gohan is still capable of becoming a super saiyan as shown in Battle of Gods and Dragon Ball Super. But even without utilizing this form, he is stronger than the Super Saiyan 3 transformation. This is also backed up by the notes on Ultimate Gohan for the Universe Survival Saga in Dragon Ball Super that at the time of Majin Buu conflict and the Battle of God, Ultimate Gohan power surpassed that of Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Even a re jump article for the Universe Survival Saga noted that Gohan's potential is greater than Goku's. So what can we take from this? Well, Gohan is potentially stronger than Goku, but not really, as Akira Toriyama will never really allow Goku to be surpassed as long as he lives. 
Alright, so we went over the fact that due to Gohan being a half Saiyan, half Earthling, he genetically has a greater potential over a full bred Saiyan like his father. In a recent interview, Toriyama disclosed that Saiyans pass on S cells, which determine the strength and potential to achieve a Super Saiyan transformation. Being born with a mixture of human genes also influences the level of S cells. We talk about this in greater detail in another video, so make sure to check that out. The mixed breeding of species from the Saiyans and human can tell us a lot about the Saiyan species. For instance, Gohan being able to conceive a child with another human shows that Saiyans and humans are much closer than you may think. Usually, mixed breeding between species result in an infertile offspring, like mules, the combination between a female horse and a male donkey. This is due to the mixture of an uneven set of chromosomes. What we can learn from Gohan and other halflings is that the Saiyans have 23 pairs of chromosomes just like us humans. This makes the Saiyans genetically much closer to us humans than even compared to other primate species such as apes. Gohan is also the only partial Saiyan to be seen with a tail. Akira Toriyama stated that tails on a hybrid Saiyan is a recessive trait, but biologically for this to work, humans also have to possess a recessive allele of that trait, and in this case, a recessive tail allele. However, humans don't actually have a tail gene, but we do have a tailbone, so it is possible that Toriyama thought that this still could work. Although the real reason for not introducing the tails for the other Saiyans could be because Toriyama simply forgot Saiyans had tails by the time other hybrid Saiyans were born. However, in an interview, Toriyama revealed that he decided to get rid of Saiyan's tails as he couldn't figure out how Saiyans would dress themselves with a tail on and that annoyed him to no end. This is more likely the real reason why Saiyans hybrid born after Gohan and pure-blooded Saiyans of Universe 6 don't have tails. A cool thing to know about Gohan tail is that Gohan's tail is cut off four times in the anime before it stops growing back, twice by Piccolo, once by Vegeta and once by Goku in the movie. Unlike pretty much all the other Saiyans in Universe 7, from Goku and Vegeta to Goten and Trunks, Gohan has not been in any type of fusion, although there has been hype that he will fuse with his father later in the series, but apart from speculation, Gohan's fusions are left to our imaginations. Or is it? Well, thanks to the Dragon Ball X fusion games and the Metamo rings, we can see the fusion between Gohan and many other characters. For instance, Kuhan, who is the X fusion between young Gohan and young Goku. There is also Kiri Gohan who is the ex-fusion between young Gohan and Krillin. Then there is Kulu Gohan, the ex-fusion between Gohan and Piccolo, Great Saiyan Man 12, the ex-fusion between Gohans and Videl in the Great Saiyan Man costumes. Now I'm not sure what gender Great Saiyan Man 12 is but I'm pretty sure it's safe to say we can call it a female. Other fusions are Great Satan Man, the ex fusion between Great Saiyan Man and Mr. Satan, Ginyu Man, the ex fusion between Great Saiyan Man and Captain Ginyu, Great Jaco is the ex fusion between Great Saiyan Man and Jaco. Now, Great Saiyan Man had loads of fusions, but I personally just like Gohan's fusion. My favorite one has to be X Gohanks, the ex fusion between Young Gohan and Kid Trunks, and the Future Gohanks, which is just a normal fusion between Future Gohan and Trunks. Gohanks actually makes an appearance in Dragon Ball Heroes along with having its own dedicated card for its arcade game. Throughout the series, there has been a couple of inconsistencies and potential plot holes with Gohan's character. Like for instance, when chapter 196 first ran in Weekly Shonen Jump, son Gohan was introduced as a 3 year old. Gohan even holds up three fingers while proclaiming his age. However, later this would be contradicted in the next chapter, 197, where Gohan reintroduces himself to the readers as a 4 year old in the title page. This is more likely just a simple mistake on Toriyama's part, showing he was unsure or he simply forgot how old Gohan was. Would be. Another error was that in the anime, while Gohan was in the hyperbolic time chamber, he has a nightmare about Cell killing Chi Chi and Piccolo. Although this is just a nightmare, the thing is during Gohan's training in the hyperbolic time chamber with Goku, he never really knew what Cell looked like. To make it more odd, Cell is in his perfect form. There is also a scene in the hyperbolic time chamber where Goku is encouraging Gohan to tap into his anger by picturing Cell, but Gohan responds he can't because he doesn't know what he looks like, yet somehow Toei decides to contradict his own statement. There is also another anime blonde where in the Cell games, Gohan actually kills 8 Cell Juniors, while Cell only spawns 7. And in Dragon Ball Z, the history of Trunks film, there are also a couple of inconsistencies with Future Gohan's story. Future Gohan loses his left arm in battle between himself and the androids, which takes place before his final fight with them. Although both fights where he loses his arm and his death are not shown in the manga, the anime shows both, which included some discrepancies. In the manga, the sensu beans had run out. Trunks tells Gohan, if only the plant hadn't died out, you could have gotten your arm back. However, in the anime, Gohan actually had some sensu beans which he gives to Trunks to save him in the battle where he loses his arm, showing a massive plot error in the anime. 
for the Japanese dub, Gohan is voiced by Masako Nozawa. Now you might be wondering where did I hear that name? Well, she's the same voice actress who voices Goku, Gotan and even Bardock. Yes, she has that family on a lock. In an interview, Nozawa stated that she did not know she would be playing Gohan until receiving the script on the day of recording his debut episode. Despite having to voice pretty much all of Goku's family, Nozawa claims that she is able to instantly get into the respective character simply upon seeing the images. Nozawa also mentioned that her favourite episode voicing Gohan was episode 9, Sorry Robots on the Desert of the Vanishing Tears, a filler episode which was originally cut from the American release of the series. For the English one animation in-house dub, Kid and Team Gohan is voiced by Stephanie Nadonli, who actually voiced the kid version of Goku in Dragon Ball. In an interview, Nadonli said her most challenging time voicing the character was during his fight against Cell, where she had to make him sound as deep, tough and as much like a man as possible. Nadonli's voice was strained during the recordings, causing her at times to leave the studio in pain. Adult Gohan in both Z and Super is voiced by Kyle Herbert, who if you hadn't noticed also voices the narrator in the Z series. Herbert stated that his voice as Gohan and the narrator of Dragon Ball Z are very much close to him as they are the ones that kickstarted his career as a voice actor. A fun thing about Kyle Herbert is that he actually tried to make Saiyaman sound cool until Christopher Sabat stopped him and told him to sound really white and nerd it up, giving the reason that Saiyaman is supposed to have no sense of rhythm. After Gohan's dormant power was unleashed, subsequently achieving his ultimate form, Gohan's progression came to a halt. However, if all you Gohan fans want to see Gohan reach a new limit or even see him in a different transformation, then you can. In the Dragon Ball Hero manga, along with his arcade card game, Gohan is shown to have obtained the Super Saiyan 4 transformation, making him the first half-blooded Saiyan to transform into a Super Saiyan 4 in the entire franchise. He also gains a new technique called the Ultimate Soaring Dragon Strike, where he punches the opponent and then he launches an uppercut with an image of a dragon hitting the opponent very fast. In the same card series, Gohan and future Gohan is shown to have achieved the Super Saiyan 3 transformation. These transformations are debuted in the Dragon Ball Hero games as well, with their own dedicated story plot on how Gohan progressed to this level. More than likely, we will not see Gohan in the Super Saiyan transformations in the anime, but we can still hope to see Gohan will achieve a new transformation. Let me know what you guys think. Which transformation do you think he will unlock next? Put it down in the comment section below. Gohan was placed first in an official 1993 Shonen Jump character popularity poll. The closest Dragon Ball character to rank behind him was Goku, who took the fifth rank of the overall poll. Gohan's popularity did well for commercial use, as Gohan's character has shown to advertise eye drops commercial, Dragon Ball Z school supply commercials, and even Burger King promotions. Gohan was actually the fan favorite during the Cell games. This overall rise in popularity, along with other factors, reluctantly drove Toriyama to plan an ending where Ultimate Gohan would prevail over Margin Buu, making Gohan the true main protagonist of the Z series. He wanted to show this by slowly revealing Gohan's limitless dormant power with his progression from the Saiyan Saga to the Buu Saga. With that, Gohan would ultimately surpass his father. However, Toriyama ended up realising that Gohan's personality wouldn't allow him to overtake as a protagonist, as Toriyama already had implemented Gohan's nature to dislike fighting just for the sake of fighting, along with the fact that many fans in Japan liked Goku's carefree persona much more. This caused a lot of conflict to Toriyama, but in the end, he wanted to stay true to the original story, the story of Goku. Not Gohan, not Vegeta, not even the Dragon Balls, but the story of Goku. Let me know what you guys think. Do you reckon that Toriyama will give Gohan more of the spotlight that we want in Dragon Ball Super? Will Gohan obtain the god transformation? Will he ever be able to achieve Ultra Instinct after Goku and Vegeta? Is there even a possibility of a progression story in the line for Gohan? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Alright guys, time for a blazing round. Gohan was born on the 18th of May, age 757, giving him the zodiac sign of Taurus. Gohan is 5 inch, 11 feet or 180 centimeters tall. Gohan weighs 134 pounds or 61 kg. Gohan's hobbies are reading, fishing and research. Gohan's favorite food is food itself and he will literally eat anything. But it is said that orange flavor is his favorite drink. Gohan's favorite vehicle is a house wagon. In both manga chapter 426 and anime episode 205, 
Gohan broke the fourth wall when he was talking to the audience about Krillin letting his hair grow after the Cell games. And although Gohan is one of the strongest warriors in the series, he usually ends up being saved by Piccolo. When Gohan was young, he lived in his grandpa's Gohan house, located in 439 East District. Since Dragon Ball Super, after Gohan and Videl got married, he lives in his own house which is located in Satan City. Gohan is technically a prince heir to Ox Kingdom. Gohan knew advanced trigonometry at the age of four, where most kids were probably learning their ABCs. Gohan's dream when he was young was to be a great scholar, which was more likely inspired by Chi Chi. Alright guys, with that, it's the end of the video. Gohan was my favourite character throughout the Z series. I felt pretty depressed on what they did to him in Super, but hopefully he will get his chance to rise back to the top. Let me know what's your favourite thing about Gohan, and which character do you like most in the Dragon Ball Super series? And if you lot want us to cover and go Ball Z in other animes, you guys need to put it down in the comment section below, or message us on our social media platforms. Alright guys, see you till next time.